So today, I have some really exciting news. Pine64 have announced that they're working on a RISC V single board computer, and I have to say, wow, is this ever a big deal. Like, this is the biggest deal. This is an absolute game changer, and in a bit, I'm going to get into why. So today, get ready, because we're going to be talking about Pine64 making some RISC V products right now on the Linux Lounge. So first, let's explain what RISC-V is for people who don't know. Essentially, RISC-V is an open CPU instruction set that lets manufacturers design their own CPUs without paying any sort of fees. It also allows manufacturers to modify the instruction set to better fit their own needs. Think of it as kind of like being an open source instruction set with a permissive license. Furthermore, this instruction set is far more lightweight than x86, so in short, RISC-V is a big deal and absolutely the future of the computing industry. Really, that's what makes it such a big deal that Pine64 are committing to RISC-V. That said though, if you like Pine64's ARM hardware, then don't worry, because Pine64 are still going to be developing and selling ARM hardware, which makes sense because there's already so much work that's gone into Pine64's ARM hardware. So then, what kind of RISC-V hardware can we expect to see from Pine64? Well, so far, all they've announced is a RISC-V single board computer that'll be similar to their existing Quartz 64 single board computer, which sounds pretty neat to me. The computer will come with either 4 or 8 gigabytes of RAM and an integrated GPU that should use open source drivers by the time that the machine is released. So all in all, this definitely should be a great entry point for people to start messing around with RISC-V. I also wonder if perhaps at some point in the future, we'll see a RISC-V powered Pine book, maybe even a RISC-V Pine phone. The future of Pine64 certainly does seem very exciting. Before I finish this video, there is one very important thing that I should just talk about. That being why exactly this is such a big deal. The reason why this is such a big deal is that previously, RISC-V hardware hasn't really been readily available, especially not at a reasonable price. Pine64 really are the first company to do what they're doing. What Pine64 are developing here is a cheap and easy way into RISC-V that can enable developers to work with RISC-V and it can enable end users to begin using RISC-V, which as far as I'm concerned is a huge deal. So all in all, I really can't begin to tell you just how hyped I am for this. I can't wait to get a hold of one of those single board machines, as RISC-V is something that I've wanted to experiment with for quite a while now. And I even more can't wait to get my hands on a RISC-V powered pine book. Imagine how cool that's going to be. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I thank you for watching it and I will see you in the next one.